Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. We are going to wait a few minutes for the rest of the classmates. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class in this Monday. Tomorrow, remember that we no, we won't have class, okay? So it's vacation. Hey, good, evening. good evening, hello, how are you? Hi, hi. thank you. Nice, welcome to the class. So tomorrow, okay. no class, but on Wednesday, yes, we are going to have class. So please remember that. 
Okay, and uh, of course, we are going to start with the platform. So we can check. This is the, the first uh, of the second unit. So it's 2.0. Remember that at the end, we have the, the question for today, right? And for today, there is no homework. There is no activity. So it's going to be just the class. So don't worry about that. Of course, we're going to check the attendance. That will be what we're going to do right now. So Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Present teacher. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, so, okay, just me, that is fine. I got you. Okay, Wilfred is here already. Let me just check into that one. Present teacher. Okay, so we are going to continue a little bit with grammar. Today we're gonna check some grammar. So do you remember reported speech? What is reported speech as you remember? Do you remember what is that reported speech? It's the expression that other people say. Very good. When we convey, when we transmit something that other people say. Okay, very good. And uh, you remember that we changed the tense of the verb and so many things, right? So today we're going to continue, but this is very easy, okay? It's going to be a piece of cake. So this is reported speech in imperatives. That is something that we check already, but now we know the name, okay? So uh, let's see, Sulma, could you please read this part? Hello, Sulma. Not here. Okay, Wilfredo, could you please read this part? Yes. Um, imperative in report speech are a little different, uh, different than sentences. Imperatives can be used when, let me, more um, imperatives can be used when we give 
orders, and we can also use them to make requests. For imperative, we use ask, tell somebody to do something. Very good. So that is the difference. So in imperatives, I mean, when you say uh, she said, he said, it's not an imperative. It's a reported speech. It's a reported speech where you say something that other person says. But when you use um, ask or tell, that is an imperative. When they ask you to do an action, do you remember that we discussed about that one? That somebody says, um, she told me to, and then an action. So I have to do an action if I use tell or ask. So that is the first thing. An imperative is when we say something, say something to do other thing. So let's check some more in deep here. Okay, so we have this part. Uh, let's see, Sandra Romero, could you please read this part? Okay, teacher. A statement, it is good. Report speech, he said that it, is, that it is good. Imperative, come here. Report speech, she told me to come here. Very good. So it says compare these two sentences and how they are using report speech. So both the two sentences, the second sentences are reported speech. So in the first one, somebody says, it is good. And in the other one, it says, she said that it is good. Remember that it is good in this case is in present, the is, because it's something that maybe is general, is a truth, a general truth. If it's something that is not a general truth, is he said that it was good. So that is the, the first difference. On the, so, but on the first one, uh, he said that it, it is good. That is just reported speech. You are repeating something that other person said. In the other one, somebody says an imperative, come here, do this, jump there, um, close the door, do the report, for example. So that is an imperative. And when we use that in reported speech, we are not going to use say. We're going to use either told me or told us or told her anything that might be changing. Or uh, you can, go ahead. What question? Why, why not in this case when the reported speech, he say that was good? Yeah, it's the one that I was telling you before. Um, in this case, probably is something that is a general truth. When it's a general truth, we don't change the tense. When something is not a general truth, then we change the tense to a past. In this case, it should be, he said that it was good. He is the same, in the, in the case, the imperative. The imperative is a little bit different because it says she told me to. So we're going to use to come here, not to came because it's an action that I need to do. So that's why we're checking into that one that is a little bit different. So it's going it to be, is something like that because it is an obligation. It's not an obligation, but an imperative. I mean, somebody's told you to do an action, but of course you can say yes or no, right? But if it's your job, for example, so imagine that your boss comes and says, uh, I need this report for tomorrow. Well, that is an imperative, right? Of course you can say, oh, I won't, I won't do that one. But the grammar is like this. It's an imperative what he said. So we're going to say, he told me, that he needs the report for tomorrow. Or he told me to do, to do the report for tomorrow. So that is going to be an imperative in report speech. That is a little bit different than the other one, right? Of course, we are going to check some other details. Let me just check in this one. Okay, so this is like the grammar. So we use ask or tell plus two plus the verb to report a command or imperative. So for example, be quiet. The teacher told the students to be quiet. Look at that, to be quiet. So we are not going to change the verb. It's going to be, I mean the tense. It's going to be the same tense, but we're going to use the infinitive. 
Do you remember the infinite that is going to be two, two and the verb? Okay, so this one is an imperative, be quiet. And we're going to transform that. The teacher told, in this case is told, the students to be quiet. So that will be an imperative because it's an action that you need to do. Sit down. My boss told me to sit down. So to sit down. Wake up early. She told me to wake up early. To wake up early. Please stop it. He asked her to please stop it. To again, please. Okay. In this case, we use ask, but we're going to check in the other slide when we use ask and when we use tell or told. Okay. But both are for either commands or imperative. Uh, he asked her, well, the other one says, bring it, please. He asked her to bring it, please. So in this case, her, right? Because it's asking to other person that is a woman uh, to do something. Remember that this part is important. Whenever we're going to use here an object pronoun, it's going to depend uh, about who is going to re react the action. That is very important. Of course, I know that you know the object pronouns, uh, but this is important here. So it's, if it's talking about a third person, it's going, you are going to use here the proper object pronoun. So that is important. So we're going to use ask, tell, plus the verb, uh, plus two, I'm sorry, plus the verb. So infinite verb. And, uh, and that's it. I mean, that will be the imperative. Do you have any questions by now? Teacher, why not in the first example in the teacher? To don't use the two. Uh, to, to, uh, yes, it's here to be, to be quiet. The verb is be. So it's going to be the teacher told the students to ah, okay. be quiet. So uh, the student mm -hmm. says the subject to uh, the verb. Exactly. So the students mm -hmm. is the subject. In this case, we can say the teacher told them or okay. the student. Mm -hmm. So me too. Okay. Thank Good. you, teacher. Of course. Any other question? Let's continue a little bit more. Okay, so a little bit more of something to remember. We are going to use tell for orders and ask for polite requests. So when something is a, an imperative, a, a something that you you definitely have to do uh, is tell. So she told me, they told us, okay? We're going to use tell or told when something that is an order, something that is a must, it's an obligation. And we're going to use ask for polite requests for something that somebody is requesting you to do in a very nice way, right? So tall is more like obligation and ask is more for polite when you request somebody to say something. For negative imperatives, we use not to. So we are not going to use don't, that is imperative. Um, we're going to use not to and the verb. However, you will often hear native speakers say to not and the verb. So some, uh, the, the, how can I explain this? The grammar, the proper way of the grammar is not to. But in the US, more in the US, some people say to not end the verb. So both ways is correct. But the more, I mean, the one that is the grammar is going to be not to end the verb, okay? That is for the negative. For example, don't do that. So that is the imperative. And then it says, she told me not to do that one. So we are not going to use don't in the imperative. We're going to use not to and the verb. In this case, she told me, so this is an obligation, it's an order. She told me not to do that. Do not talk. She told us not to talk. So 
Look at this, we're not going to use don't. We use only not. She told us not to talk. Again, this is an obligation, an order. Please, ah, look at this, please do not be late. Since we use please here in the, in the imperative, in the normal imperative, we know that this is not an obligation, it's a request, it's polite, okay? So since we know that this is polite, we're going to use ask. She asked me not to be late, okay? Ask. So if, if here we use please, then we use ask. Or if something is polite, we're going to use ask. Don't be noisy. I told her not to be noisy. Okay. And at the bottom is again the note. Did you see the difference with negative imperatives with adjectives? Look at the last two examples. We leave out the verb do, not to and the verb. So here, this is very important. It says, please do not be late because it's with the verb to be, right? She asked me not to be late. Don't be noisy. So we're going to use be, not the verb do. That is it. Do you have any questions? I believe it's kind of easy, but of course I know that sometimes the very first time that we check something, sometimes we, we get confused, right? I understand that one. So questions. So it's the same as the report speech that we used before, but the only difference is that here we're going to use ask and told, and we're going to use for the negative not to and the verb. That is the formal way, of course. Remember that told is for orders, ask is for uh, requests, and that's it. There is no other thing. If there are no questions, let's practice, of course. So we are going to convert the sentence from direct speech to reported speech, okay? So the first one is already down there. Mother to daughter, put on your shoes. So it says, her mother told her to put on her shoes. To put, okay? We don't change the verb into past. So, and we're going to use to. Okay, what happens if we want this in negative? It's going to be her mother told her not to put on her shoes. That will be the negative, not to put on her shoes. That will be it. Now the question is, how is going to be the number two? The teacher told uh, to me, open the, your notebook. How is going to be the imperative? indirect speech. She told, she told open your notebook. Uh, she told me or the teacher told me, uh-huh. The teacher told me, open your notebook. To open your notebook. To open your notebook. Uh -huh. The two is important there. So the teacher told me to open my notebook, right? Because I'm right. speaking about, about me. My what? notebook. My notebook, yeah. Okay. What happens if that sentence, I want Sorry, that to, to be in negative? For example, the teacher told me to open my notebook. How is it going to be in negative? How is it going to be the negative? Sorry. The teacher told me don't offer your notebook. Mm -hmm. But in the imperative, we just, we just say that we don't use don't. Oh. So who is going to be? Teacher, teacher the, the, told me um, 
to not to open your notebook? That is the affirmative. Yeah, the teacher told me to open my notebook. In negative, the teacher told me not to. Exactly. That open is. So the teacher told me not to open my notebook. That will be the negative. Not don't, but not. Only not. Okay, very good. Let's keep on practice. I know that with the practice, you are going to get it a little bit better. Mary to her uncle, don't be mad at me. So Mary to her uncle, that is it. Mary is a person, of course, to her uncle. So how is going to be the affirmative? If helps us, you can write it. I mean, sometimes it's better that way, right? Sometimes if you are thinking, sometimes it's a little bit difficult. But if you write the sentences, you say, mm, this doesn't look good and I can change this or I can change the other way. So sometimes that is a very good idea in this kind of exercises. She say, she say tall, she say tall. Okay, we're not going to use say here. No. No. Maybe. Mm -hmm. She told Mary, Mary, Mary told, told to her uncle to her uncle not to be mad at me. It hurts. Very good. It's very close. It's very close. Okay. Some changes. Okay. Mary mm. told, <laughs> told to her. Told, no, it's going to be told him because her uncle, uncle is I see. male, uncle. right? Or as Jasmine said, we can say that as well. Mary told to her uncle, it's possible, okay? Or Mary told him not to be mad at her because Mary is speaking. Mary is a woman. So that is the only thing. Mary told him not to be mad at her because she is speaking, Mary is speaking. So do you get it? Mary told him or her uncle, you can use the both, that is not a problem, not to be mad at her. Her, 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 her. Mary told him not to be at me. No, don't, not. It's going to be Mary told him not to be mad at her. Okay, now, who is going to be the negative? Well, actually, who is going to be the affirmative? Because the negative is the one that we say, right? Who is going to be Mary the affirmative? Told, Mary him not be mad at me. Actually, that is the negative because the sentence is negative. But in the affirmative, the only thing that we're going to do is just to remove the not. So it's going to be Mary told him he? to be, to be mad at her. That because is not a negative affirmative the sentence. Exactly, mm -hmm. this one is a negative. I mean, the first one with that we checked, it was the negative, right? Okay. The other one, number four, the coach to Jack, get on your feet. How is going to be the affirmative? Coach told him to get on his field. Very good. Coach told him to get on his feet. Look how it's important to change the person that you're talking about, right? That is very important. It's not only the verb that we change or we don't change it. So coach told to Jack or told Jack to get on his feet. Why, why use uh, him? him. Ah, because we're talking to him. Okay, so the coach said something to Jack. And I am not Jack, it's not your. It's the same as in Spanish, it's exactly the same. Imagine this, imagine that Anna Selmy says to Wilfredo, 
uh, study English. What am I going to say? I'm going to say, Ana Selmi told Wilfredo to study English, right? But if, if she says something different, Ana Selmi says, for example, um, what can I say? Give it to me, for example. Ana Selmi goes to Wilfredo and Wilfredo says, give it to me. So I am going to do the indirect speech. I'm going to say, Ana Selmi told Wilfredo to give it to her because Anna Selmi is speaking. It's not me. It's she the one that's speaking. So we are going to change me to her. So that is very important. The same happens here. The coach, the coach says something to Jack. And what he says, get on your feet, but to Jack, not to me. So what I do is coach told Jack to get on his feet. feet because we're talking about him. He's uh, of Jack. Uh -huh, we start, he's talking to Jack, not to me, right? Okay. That is it. So let's check number five. The cashier to Angela. Give me your receipt. The cashier told her told her get her her receipt okay to give to remember the two okay the and cashier the cash, uh -huh. to to her uh -huh. to give uh -huh. her her receipt that is a very interesting one the cashier told angela or angela in english to give her her, look at that, her, her, her receipt. To give her her receipt. Her. The first her is the object. The second her is the possessive. It's not the same. Do you get that one? This is a very interesting, maybe we can, we can write it. Let me check if we can write it. Uh, let's see. Um, let me try to write it here. Uh, what is it? Um, cashier to Angela, right? Cashier to Angela, give me your receipt. Uh -huh. So let's write this. Cashier to Angela. Uh, give me my receipt. Okay, so how is going to be this one? The cashier told her, because we're talking, her, we're talking about Angela. The cashier told her to, remember the two is important, give her her, her, her receipt. So that is going to be the cashier is not going to change. That is the person that does the action, right? Told her, this hair is Angela, okay? Two, remember two, because this is imperative, because you need to do an action. When you have an action here, you always use two, to give her, this hair is the object of the action, okay? It's the object of the action, the action is to her. The second one here, the second one here is the possessive, hair receipt. So this hair is we receipt. This one is the object. So this is a very good example. Do you understand that one? Entiende, no se entiende. Si no se entiende, this is the moment. No. Porque cuando andan allá en Miami, no le van a entender los gringos, ¿verdad? Vale. vale, lo voy a explicar en español. Vale, sí, porque... no entendí. Vale. <risa> en el imperativo, nosotros vamos a usar siempre el tú. Eso es lo primero. El Dice... verbo no se cambia a hola. Sorry. ¿Será que hay alguien que tiene el micrófono encendido? Entonces no se oye bien la explicación. Vaya. Ahorita vamos a silenciar. Gracias. Of course. Vaya, entonces. Eh, esto es el, el, el primero, la primera oración es como 
lo que dijo, ¿verdad? Eso es lo directo. El cajero le dijo a Ángela, deme mi recibo. Así está. Eso es lo exactamente las palabras, ¿verdad? Ahora, cuando yo lo transformo a in the speech, yo digo, el cajero le dijo a ella, a Ángela. Yo puedo poner Ángela aquí. Pero le dijo a ella, este her es un object pronoun, es en quien recae la acción. A ella, ¿verdad? Este tú es como que si dijéramos nosotros en español, el cajero le dijo a ella que le diera. Pero nosotros, eso es español, ¿verdad? Ese que no lo, no lo usamos en inglés. Que le diera el recibo, que le diera a ella su. Este eres a ella, es un object pronoun. Como cuando digo a mí, a nosotros. A ellos. Este es un object pronoun. Por eso aquí toda la gramática que ustedes ya aprendieron es, es vital. ¿Verdad? Porque si nosotros ya sabemos que es un object pronoun, es cuando yo digo, give it to me. Yo no digo give it to I. Yo digo give it to me. Dámelo, dámelo. La acción recae en mí. O sea, yo no hago la acción. Tú me lo darás. La acción la hace la otra persona, pero ¿a quién se la da? A mí me va a dar la caja, lo que me vaya a dar. Entonces, ese es un object pronoun. En este caso, este primer her es un object pronoun. Es un donde cae la acción, el objeto donde recae la acción. Y este segundo es posesivo. Lo que pasa es que en inglés se dice igual. Sería su recibo. Este ya es su recibo, el de ella. Por eso es her. ¿Ok? Y este her primero es el object pronoun. Solo que en inglés se dice igual. Cambiaría si nosotros le cambiamos así. Mire, la vamos a cambiar para que vean cómo cambia exactamente. Que sure to, vamos a poner a Wilfredo. Wilfredo. Entonces, ¿qué le dijo a Wilfredo? Lo mismo, ¿verdad? Give me my receipt. Entonces, ya esta va a cambiar un poquito. Que sure, told ya no va a ser her. Va a ser him. A él. El cajero o la cajera le dijo a él. Que le diera su recibo. Lo mismo dice en español, pero en inglés se va a cambiar. Tú, porque el tú tiene que ir. El imperativo siempre, todas las veces va. El verbo no cambia. To give. Him, ahí es him is, porque es el love you pronoun. Y, Ajá. y recibe. Y acá el posesivo es his. Receive. Receive. Por eso es importante saber de quién estamos hablando, quién hace la acción. O sea, aquí, aquí, el cajero le dijo a Wilfredo, ¿quién va a hacer la acción? Wilfredo le va a dar su o su, su recibo, ¿verdad? Entonces, todo eso hay que entenderlo. Y si nosotros lo decimos mal, si nosotros no decimos aquí, por ejemplo, aquí si yo dijera, como aquí dice my receipt, si yo si hubiera dicho aquí, cashier told her to give him my receipt, con ese my que yo no le cambie aquí, el gringo ya no me entiende. Ya no me entiende. ¿Y cuál recibo? Y in the case, teacher, uh, cashier told her to give her the receipt. It's, it's possible to say the receipt. Yeah, that is possible. Yeah, that is not a problem. Okay, so uh, at this level in the intermediate, it's not important only about the verbs, about the structure, but also about these kind of things. Es lo que les explico en este momento. Si nosotros no usamos el sujeto, el objeto adecuado, incluso la estructura, Allá no nos van a entender. Tal vez aquí sí nos entendemos porque venimos de la misma raíz del español. Pero alguien que, que no hable español y nosotros le hablemos de esa manera, si yo le dijera, the cashier told her to give her my receipt. Si yo no le cambio esto, que es lo más común, uno de los errores más comunes en español, porque yo mantengo eso, no me va a entender. O al recibo, ¿de qué está hablando? A saber. Vos le entendés. No, yo no le entendés. O sea, que, o sea que ese mi, tengo que cambiarlo por he is. Depende de quién está hablando. Lo que pasa es que es igual que en español. En español yo dijera así: el cajero a Ángela. ¿Qué fue lo que le dijo? Dame mi recibo. Entonces yo le digo en español también la segunda: es como el que el cajero le dijo a ella que le diera su recibo. Ya no digo mi recibo. El problema es de que en español su es de ella y de él. 
incluso de plural se puede usar a veces. Su. Sí. Pero en inglés yo tengo que decir ella, él, nosotros. Aquí tiene que ir identificado. Es que al final ahí estamos hablando de tercera persona, estamos hablando de nosotros. Exacto. O sea, dependiendo del contexto del que estamos hablando, tenemos que cambiarlo o a veces no lo cambiamos. O sea, no es que siempre se vaya a cambiar. Teacher, ¿qué, a ver, eh, um, si estuviéramos hablando de primera persona, dijera, de cashier to me. Ah, ok. Let's do that one. Ok. Cashier to me. Ah, ahí está el que dice Carlita. Okay, so this is going to be cashier told me, yes, a me. Okay, cashier told me to give her or give, ah, puede ser give me, vamos a poner así, give me my, my receipt. receipt. Bye. Ahí sería. Entonces ahí ya no cambia porque estoy hablando de la misma persona. Pero aquí yo estoy hablando de una tercera persona, que puede ser plural, que puede ser singular. Y esto, yo me imagino que ya lo vieron, los object pronouns. Eso es uno de los problemas más grandes que tenemos, quizás en la hora de, la, de dar las clases de inglés, es que esto lo vemos un día. Y lo explicamos y todos dicen, sí, lo entiendo. Pero hay que seguirlo usando toda la vida. O sea, hay que recordarlo cada vez que hablemos inglés. So that's why it's very important to practice English. If you don't practice English, then you are going to forget about this. And there are more exercises here. Let's continue practicing. Adam to his mother. Look at that. This is very important. Adam to his mother. Help me with my homework. Okay, so how is going to be this in affirmative? Adam to her mother. Adam told her. Good. Adam told her uh -huh. to help. To help. With his hair. His okay. Adam is a girl or is a boy? Boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. To okay. help him. Him. Uh -huh. him. Him. With his homework. His, his homework. homework. Good. Mm -hmm. That is it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Adam told her to help him with his, his homework. homework. That is very important to identify. I know that now we are still practicing, so that's why we need to stop and think. But in the future, when you go to New York, this is going to be very fast and very fluid, right? Oh, Alan told him to help me with his homework. So, how oh, can okay, I help him? That is going to be like that. But please try to remember how you are going to identify if there is a third person involved, always, all the time, you need to analyze. Am I going to change the object or the subject pronoun? That is very important. So, again, Alan told her to, to is very important, to help him with his homework. If it's negative, how is going to be the negative? Alan told her mm -hmm. um, not to help I'm sorry, but I him with his homework. Good, that is it. So Adam told her not to help him with his homework. That is going to be very good. If for you it's a little bit complicated, remember that you can write it. So it's going to be better for you. So you visualize what is going on. Okay, the negative is going to be Adam told her not to help him with his homework. Help me with my, my homework. 
So it's the, it's the same, but the difference is that we're going to use not. So not your, no, it's going to be Adam told her, that is the first change, not to help him with his homework. Because we're talking about Adam that is a, a man, a boy. Good. Let's analyze and do number seven. The officer to us, do not par here. So how is going to be the affirmative imperative reporter speech? The officer told us not to park, not to park here. Very good, it's negative because it's negative that one, right? So the officer told us not to park here. That is it here, not to park here. What happens if we want to do that one in affirmative? How is it gonna be? The officer told us To park here. To park here, that is it. The yeah, officer okay. told us to park here. So the difference between the negative and the affirmative is the not. That's the only thing. The, the, maybe the problem might come when we identify what it will be the person that we were talking about. That is it. Maybe that is the, the most complicated. But the negative, I guess, is no problem. Just remember that we're going to add not, and that's it to be. Do you know what are the pedestrians? Do you remember? What is pedestrians? The people walk. The people that walk mm -hmm. on the streets, on the on yes. the sidewalks, right? Side no, yes. <laughs> okay. So, how is going to be the affirmative of that one? The ambulance driver told they to move out of the way. Okay. The ambulance driver told them to move, to move out of the way. Okay. That is it. Also, you can say he, because we know that it could be a he or a she, right? She told them that is possible. Or also we can say the ambulance driver told to pedestrians to move out of the way. That all of those are good. I mean, the subject, you can play with them. That is not a problem. Um, what would be that in negative? The ambulance driver told to the pediatrician to not move. It would be not to move. Not to move. Uh huh. The the not is going to be before two. Not to move out of the way. Oh, okay. Not to move. Not to move okay. out of the way. Very good. Perfect. We're getting there. That's nice. So number nine, Daniel to his mother. Wait for me. How is it gonna be? Daniel, Daniel told to her. Told wait, her. Told her. Daniel told her, wait for him. To wait for him. To wait for him. Very good. That is it. Nice. Daniel told her to told wait her. for him. To wait. Don't forget the two. The yeah. Two. Oh, there, yeah. There should be the two. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And how is going to be the negative? Daniel told, told her. Told her. Daniel told her not to wait 
for him. Very good. Perfect. That is it. So Daniel told her not, not to wait, to for, wait him. for him. Okay. That is it. Very, very good. We're getting there. I'm happy. <laughs> so number it's 10. So, I uh -huh. think sometimes it's so difficult, but <laughs> we have to practice. That's it. I mean, th yeah. there are two things in English. First, you need to understand. Yeah. Second, you need to practice. Yeah. That is it. That is all the process. The problem in, to practice is that sometimes we don't speak every day in English, right? Yes. So, and sometimes we speak and here in El Salvador, if somebody else is speaking English, you understand. They don't correct. But as I was telling you, if you go to other country, they don't get it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Number 10 says Pam to her husband, stop acting like a child. Okay. All husbands in the world, sometimes we listen to yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> Pam told him to stop acting like a child. Perfect. Very good. Pam told him to stop acting like a child. And we can't. Right. Men, we are always a child. <laughs> okay. In negative, how is it going to be? That would be fantastic if, I, if a woman says something. Okay. How is it going to be that in negative? Pam told him not to stop acting like a child. Very good. That is it. Pam told him not to stop acting like a child. Very good. So you see that when you get familiar, it's easy. My recommendation for you is that now, today that you understood this one, since tomorrow is vacation, I know that you are going to do a lot of things, but if you have 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, try to practice, write and say words, try to. The, the, more, the most difficult things are, the more you need to practice. That is a must, okay? If you want to speak very well, you need to invest time in English because it's an investment, of course. Questions? Questions with the imperative reported speech. The, the sentence is the ambulance, all right? Okay, that one is going to be the ambulance driver told them or told the pedestrians to move out of the way or not to move out of the way. Any of those will be. Or you can say him or he, he told them, okay? The subject you can play with that sometimes depending on the situation. Good, good. Any other question? With the imperative, I never leave homeworks, but this is something that you need to practice, okay? Perfect. So then we're going to continue with the book. So uh, we're going to remember a little bit more about reported speech. This is the normal reported speech, okay? It says how to use reported speech affirmative statements. Look at the examples in the box. Then complete the exercises below. Very good. Osmin, could you please read the first part? Okay, teacher. To express to. Okay. To express to a third person the words that uh, summary, I have say you for the speech. In report speech, we express what somebody has said in our own words. In this case, we make some change to what the person has said. After the reporting verb, it is possible to use the word that. Example, as per say, credit card offer protection from identified that that David card don't expert mention it, that credit card offered protection from identified death that David card done. 
Okay, perfect, thank you. So uh, this is a review on what we checked already. This is the normal one, not the imperative, right? So to express to a third person the word that somebody has said, we use reported speech. In reported yeah. speech, we express what somebody has said in our own words, not with quotation marks, right? That is direct speech, okay? That's quotation. But in this case is uh, when we report what somebody said. In this case, we make some changes to what the person has said. After the reporting verb, it is possible, it's not obligation, it's possible to use the word that. An example, expert says, and you can see that in the question mark is a quotation, right? So um, in the, I mean, quotation mark. Experts say credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. Experts mention that is in parentheses because it's possible, but it's not possible, remember? So experts mention credit cards offer offered in past. Do you remember? Present goes to past in the report speech. Credit cards offer protection from identity theft that debit cards don't. So here we change the verb, okay? Uh, let's see, um, let me check who else is. Uh, Sananda Gladys, could you please read the second part? When we? Yeah, please. Okay, when we use report speech, the verb stand on the sentence often, shift up. Are you, are you two verbs Manifest with sign high import information about products online. A YouTuber said that manifest with sign a important information about products online. A free student credit cards better option that debit cards for online shopping. A free suggests that credit cards were, were better opinion that debit cards for online shopping. Good, perfect, thank you. So this is what we check already, right? Present goes to past, past goes to past perfect, present perfect goes to past perfect, uh, can goes to cool, uh, will goes to will, uh, will, I'm sorry. Um, all those changes that we check already. So the examples, a YouTuber says, quotation, right? Manufacturers website have important information about products online. So the index piece is, a YouTuber say that manufacturer's website has, in past, right, had important information about products online. The second example says, a friend suggests credit cards are better option than debit cards for online shopping. So the indirect speech is, a friend suggested that credit cards were a better option that debit cards for online shopping. That suggests it's possible to leave it like that. Suggest is fine, okay? But the other one, where, this is something that we need to change. Credit cards were a better option. That is something that we need to change. But this is a review. We checked that already. So I believe that you more or less remember that part. Um, let's check the sentences here. Rewrite. The following sentence using reported speech. Compare your answers with classmates. Okay, so we're going to do this in a different way. I will give you three, four minutes for you to write indirect sentences there. Okay, take your time and write the sentences in indirect speech. I will be waiting and then I'm going to ask what is going to be the answer or the, the switch to the indirect speech. Let's do it, please.
Have you finished? Sorry. Not finished yet. Okay. Try to identify, try to check what you need to change and then just write it, okay? Have you finished? Yes, teacher. Good. Let's check them. Number one says big online store say trusted brands have a strong reputation. How is going to be the reported speech, my friends? Teacher is a big online, big online store site to brand have a strong reputation. Re, re, <laughs> <laughs> reputation. So yes, yeah, it's going to be big online store sales, trusted brand or that trusted brands had had in past. That is very important. Uh, okay. Had a strong reputation. So ah. this one has to be in pass. Very good. <laughs> good. So the next one is a specialist say, uh, PayPal is more secure than David cards. How oh, is going to be the indirect speech? A specialist said that PayPal was more secure than David cards. Perfect. Specialist said PayPal or that PayPal is was more secure than debit cards was that is important number three says a friend says offers that are too good to be true may be scam yes. uh, friends say offers that are too good to be true might be a scam okay a friend says that offers that where were too good to be true, maybe a scam, but the word to be has to be changed. Uh, do you know what is a scam? What is a scam? Uh, can be when you are buying something online and you are paying for this thing, but at the end you didn't receive the, the thing that you're buying. Or oh, when you maybe receive a call and someone said, you need to do this and you're going to receive a refund or something like that, then you give your information, but the other person is taking your information to take your money. Very good. That is a scam. A scam is when um, somebody's trying to hack, get your information. It's a, it's a kind of fraud. Teacher, so we need to be careful. Yeah? In, in the... In this example, in these sentences, I try to, to transform the unreported speech in different form for the homework. Okay. And when I change the verb to be, the where, the option is um, the as, or, and this, how do you say the, the result was 
error. And only when I take the main verb, the main, the sentence check right. It could be, yeah, it's possible actually to say a friend says that offers that are too good to be true might because the possibility mm -hmm. is the one that may be changing. So yeah, mm -hmm. you are right. That is true, good. Okay, number four, it says, a blogger says mobile phone networks are more secure than public Wi-Fi. That is true as well. So how's it gonna be that one? It's a, a blogger. A, a blogger says mobile phone networks were more secure than public Wi-Fi. Very good, that is it. Where? That is the, the important part, nice. Number five says consumers report deals are often hidden in web pages. Uh -huh. How is it gonna be? Consumers report deals were often hidden in web page. Were often hidden, very good. We actually can change report. We can say consumers say deals were often hidden in web pages. Yes. Good. Okay, my friends, so uh, let me check. Okay, oops, something went wrong. What is going on? Okay, so we're going to check the attendance because it's already 9.07, so we need to check into that one. So I'm gonna stop this little thing and then we're going to continue. Let's see. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Here, teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi yes. Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. I'm here, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Ricardo Alexis. Present. Fuente. Good. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present teacher. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, so we will continue with the book. We need to move on. Okay, so uh, still in unit number one it says, I will be able to identify tips for success in a passage about the founder of a successful online business. Okay, and number one it says, let's start. How can online shopping help small businesses grow in a competitive market? What do you think, my friends? How can online help? Online shopping help 
small businesses grow in a competitive market? What do you think? Um, maybe uh, because we have platforms like um, Facebook and Facebook we have on Facebook we have a marketplace and people can share their products without any charge. It is free to, to sell things and also to buy things. You only need to pay for the price of the seller says. You, you don't you don't need to pay for a for a fee to receive the, the things very good yeah actually that helps uh, depending on many things we checked already uh, some platforms for you to sell your products but yeah definitely facebook is here in el salvador i believe is the best because anybody can sell anything so you can look for something for example for tomorrow that is mother's day if you want to to give a present to your mother, you ha don't have an idea what to give, you can go, go there and look for some choices, right? So, and there are many, many things that you can find there. Some good deals and some deals that are not so good, but you can negotiate as well. It says the next question, what makes an e-commerce business successful? What do you think? I think that the good reference that I had to, um, according to my experience, I can recommend the site and the product. And I think that is the way that an e-commerce business will be successful. Very good. Actually, that is true. I mean, if you have a good experience, the product is nice, the delivery is fine, you can, you can recommend that one, right? Anybody else? Yes. Convenient, it's so convenient right so remember that we were talking about logistics in the last module so here you don't need the space you just need to sell your products there and that will be it right okay so we're going to check about this chart that says answer the questions in the chart we're going to do it together okay have you ever heard about a website named alibaba anybody Have you ever seen that website? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, what is teacher. that? Could you please tell me? What is that about? Nothing. Nothing? You haven't seen that? Sure. I yeah, heard you... that. Uh -huh. I hear it's a, it's a store and you can buy any products and um, um, a cheaper cost. Okay, very good. So it's cheaper than other websites. Maybe, what else you can tell me? Let's see. Uh, what else do you know about Alibaba? You can buy products. The prices are very good. What else? Is from China. It's from China. That is true. Any other information, piece of information? Okay, let's go to number two, actually. What type of products or services does Alibaba sell? You can find many things. Machinery, um, um, Sports, uh, things, um, electronics. I remember some of them. Okay, very good. Yeah, actually, they sell so vast things, right? Who's the founder of Alibaba? Do you know? Who's the founder of Alibaba? If you don't know, that is fine. Of course, this is, I mean, I don't know. But it's something that with the energy you can research. Yeah, I guess nobody, right? So number four, do you know anyone who has shopped at Alibaba? I 
a friend of mine shop shopping in Alibaba. How he, was this friend? Uh -huh. He told me about this uh, this oh my god this platform, and he was talking about he was buying something to his cell phone. Okay, so it was it's a very good experience for him. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for him it was a very nice experience. Very good. Number five says, do you know any business tip from the founder of Alibaba? Yeah, I guess the answer for that one is no, because there are more specific. Things. So let's go to the reading, okay? Nice. For this reading, we're going to read, let me check, all of it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to read, please check the pronunciation. Then you are going to read. And then we're going to check vocabulary, okay? So here we go. In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma grouped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stages of the Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley, the tech hub in the United States and was met with denials and his business model was criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many uh, at the time. In 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online auction site named Taobao.com, charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant eBay. Determined to win, Taobao remain uh, a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders, and that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain. To stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy, Ma and his team began offering value-added support services, e.g., custom web pages to online merchants for small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capitalization, approximately $200 billion. So do you have any pronunciation questions? Facil facilitating? Facilitating, yeah. Okay. With you? With you? Uh, we, we try, okay. That is in the first paragraph. I don't remember what it's finally. Uh, I'm sorry. Finally. Finally. Yeah, I just don't get it. The last paragraph is withdrew. Uh withdrew, yeah. Withdrew. Withdrew? Withdrew, yeah. Very good. Any other question on pronunciation? Uh, the word withdrew. Uh, the first, the well before, subsequently. Uh, subsequently. 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 Any other? Chang. Chang. E-commerce. Chang. Uh, young e-commerce, I guess is it. But what is it? Just all e-commerce. Second part. Second paragraph. Maybe it's giant. A giant, a giant, okay. Yeah. Giant. Yeah. Giant. giant. Any other question on pronunciation? Unprofitable. Okay. Unprofitable. Unprofitable. Any other? Taobao. Taobao. Yeah, that's Chinese. Yeah. Yeah, it's, this is Taobao.com because it's a website. Dot com. 
Okay, any other? To a spider a flow. A float, yeah, I guess that is in the third paragraph, right? Yeah, to see a float, yeah, a float. Flow. Okay, let's read. Uh, try to read fluent and uh, we're going to check after. Everybody has read uh, some improvement of pronunciation. So we're going to start with Ada Patricia. Okay. In one... No, 1999. 1999. 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack made group and 18 people include himself and his wife and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for a small and medium enterprise based in China. Based. In the, excuse me? Based in China. Based in China. In the early stage of the Alibaba. My time to raise to raise funds in Silicon Valley in the Tech Hub on the Tech United Hub. States. How Tech Hub, Hub. Not, not in tech, the United tech. tech 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 in the United States and was met with the nail met the nails. met with the Niles met with the Niles. And him, my business model was criticized, criticized. to be criticized to be unprofitable and Un unprofitable. In, unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. Continue, please. This is everything. Okay. In na in twenty three. Twenty o three. Twenty o three. Is still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online auction site name, Sabao.com, mm -hmm. sharing zero commission and talk on a multinational e commerce giant eBay. Giant, giant eBay. Determined to win, Sabao remain. A commission from Merkley's to firm to four million of online credit, and that they did put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while maintaining maintaining Maintain. the platform. Remaining. Maintain. Maintaining. Maintaining the platform commission. Free police, Ma, policy. and his Macy and his team began <laughs> offering value as a support service e e that e custom e e e custom web, web page on to web, live web pages. Because it's a plural web page, web page. Web page to, la, to online merchant for a small space. Mage and his team was the Chinese market in less than five years. And eBay subsequently withdrew, subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, um, 50 years or e-commerce a company that has its origin of size of the United States is no one of world latest company as measured, but its market capitalization approximately um, 200 billion. Okay, very good, thank you. Rose. Okay, in 1999, after leaving a government job, 
Jack Ma group 18 people, including his himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for a small and medium enterprise based in China. In the early stage of Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley to take who in the United States and was met with the nails and met. his met with the nails and his business model was criticized to be unprofitable, unprofitable, unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. In 2003, still unprof unprof unprofitable, <laughs> unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online auction site named Taobao, taobao.com, charging zero commission and to come a multinational e-commerce giant eBay. Determined to win, Taobao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders, and that did put Alibaba on the significant financial strain. Financial. Financial strain to stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission free pol policy. Ma and his team began offering value added support service, EJ, custom web page to online merchants for small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than, than five years. And he basically secondly withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capitalization, approximately $200 billion. Very good, perfect. Now, Osmin. Right, teacher. Yeah. In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Me Group, uh, 18 people, it including himself, Heinz and his wife, and sold them a dream for a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for a small and medium enterprise based, based in China. Based in China. In the, excuse me. Based in China. Based in China. In the early stretch of the Alibaba, may try to raise funds in Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley, uh -huh. the tech uh, oh, in the United States. Tech hub. The West, tech hub. Okay. Tech. Thank you. Tech hub in the United States and was met uh, with Daniel. Denials. Denial, denials and his business model was criticized, criticized to be profitable and profitable. Or profitable and unsustainable. 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 Unsustainable by my aunt the time. In 20, what is, what is 2003. 20 of three is still uh, unprofitable with Alibaba, May and his team launched an online action site named Tabaucom, charging zero commission and took on a multinational e commerce young eBay. Giant, giant. Uh, giant, yeah. E commerce giant eBay. The determined to when about remain a commission for a marketplace, marketplace for millions of online traders and 
that they put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while mine, mining, no, mining, mining, mining the platform commission free policy. May and his uh, team be, begin offering value added super service. Example give custom web page to online markets for smile fish. Uh, May and his team, his team won the Chinese market in less than five years and they subsequently withdrew, withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 50 years old e commerce company that has its origin outside of the United States in now one of world's largest companies as much. Uh, measured by the market capitalism capitalization approximately uh, 200 billions yeah okay very good perfect thank you yeah. uh, jasmine in 1999 after leaving a government job jack ma grouped 18 people including himself and his wife and sold them a dream to fund Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stage of the Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley to teach have in the United States and was met with denials and his business model was criticized to be criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. In 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Mam and his team launched an online action site named Taboa. Come charging zero commission and took on a mm, multinational e-commerce giant Giants. eBay. Determined to win, table remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain. To stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission, Free policy, man and his team become a very value added support service. E. G. custom web space to online merchants for a small fees. Man and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capitalization, approximately two million dollars. 200 million, good. So now it's going to be Sandra Gladys. <laughs> in 1999, in 1999, after leaving a government job, that just grow, aiding people, include his and his wife, and sold them a dream to found a liveable with the goal of facility international trade for small and medium enterprise space in China. China. In the China. In the early phase of the Alibaba, must try to raise funds in Silicon Valley. Tech, Tech Hub. Hello. 
de Tesla. En, en tu en 2003, still on perfect with Alibaba, ma existing launch en online auction site name Tau, Taubao con sharing zero commission en tuts on multinational e-commerce giant y pay. Determine to with Taubao remaining en commission free marketplace for millions of online traders and that it put Alibaba under significant financial strike to stay afloat while mainly the platforms commission free poli police policy ma and his seen the <laughs> policy ma his seen began offering value as support service eg constant constant well pays to online merchants for a small fees ma and his them won the Chinese market in less than five years and eBay subsequently withdraw from China Chinese Alibaba, a 15 years old e-commerce company that has its ori origins outside on the United mm -hmm. States is now one of the world's largest company at measured by its market capitalization approximately uh, 200 billion dollars. Very good, perfect. Now, Carla Vasquez. In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Mal Group 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to form Alibaba with the goal of accelerating international trade for a small and medium enterprise base in China. In the early stage of Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley. They touched how in the United States and was met with Daniels and Niall. his. Dan repeat, please. Yeah, denials. Denials and his business model was criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. In 200 and 200, 2003. 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba men in his team launching an online option site named Taobao. Welcome. Chargin Zero Commission and took a multinational e commerce giant eBay. Giant. Yeah. Gi 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 giant <laughs> eBay. Determined to win, Taobao rem remained a commission free marketplace for millions of online traders. And that did put Alibaba on their significant financial strain to stay afloat while maintain, maintaining, maintaining, maintaining that, Main. pla <laughs> that platform commission pre police policy. Policy, a free policy, man, and his team be began. began Offering value and support service, e.g., custom web page to online merchants for a small fee. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e commerce company that that has its ori origin outside of the United States, is now one of world's largest company as measured by its market capital capitalization approximately 
approximately? 200, approxim, approximately? 200, 200 billions. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ophelia. Hello, Jeff. Bonjour. I found, I found their meaning. 100 mini founder mini night after laboring I good this man I host has asked I my proper 18 people include and uh, his sister and his wife and short I then I I think I to phone uh, Aliban, Aliban, I will the world of facilitating international brother for a small and minimum exercise. I was in China in the very strike of the Aliban. Ya yendo, mi amor, le dio pase arriba. Ahora sí. Ahí está. 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 Ahí and this is my in 103 I think on profit I will I I live on my end I this thing Lucian and Olay out in this mining Tao Tong Churning Sir, commission and two on multi multi million a coming a with a eva determined to win tabao remanding commission a fresh marker print for minion of online strength and I that this a live on under significant Fixial esting to start. Arfon I win my team. I def the platform comes I free policies. I my end this a team this opening a volume and then support service. I pay custom. I, I will help to online merchant for a small fee. I may end this thing from the Chinese marking in English, 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 than print year and baby. So, so green, I will phone Chin. I live on, I first 35 year or concert company. I that has its orange hosting or the universe, Unister Stray is hot. One founder, large company. I, I miss well, I be its marking capital, capitalization approximately uh, 200 million. Okay, thank you. Now, okay. Jose Ernesto Osorio. In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma grouped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises. 
based in China. In the early stage of the Alibaba, Matt tried to raise a fund in Silicon Valley. The tech hub in the United States and was met with Daniels. Denials. And his business model. Thank you, teacher. With the denials. And his business model was criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many at a time. In 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online auction site named Taobao.com, charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant, eBay. Determined to win, Taobao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial, financial strain to stay afloat while, while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy. Ma and his team began offering value-added support service. E point G point custom webpage to online merchants for small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capitalization, approximately $200 billion. Thank you very much. Now, Anna Selmi. In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma group 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to fund Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stage of the Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley, the tech hub in the United States, and was met with the nails. And his business model was criticized Criticized, criticized to, yeah. be, to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. In 2003, still unprof unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched, launched an online option site named Tabo, Tuba, Tabo. Tabo. Com charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant eBay. eBay. Determined to win, Taobao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of, of online traders. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy. Ma and his team began offering value-added support services, e.g. custom webpage to online merchants for a small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years and eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, is now one of the world's largest company as matured by its market capitalization approximately $200 billion. Very good, perfect. Now, Wilfredo. Okay. In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Magrop, 18 people, including his and his wife, and sold them 
a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating an international trade for small and medium enterprise based on China. In the early stage of the Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley, the tech hub in the United States, and was met with denials and Denial. his business. Excuse me. Denials. Denials, and his business model was criticized to him unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. And 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched an online action site named Tao, 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 Com, charging zero commission and took in a multinational e-commerce giant eBay, determined to win Taobao, remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders, traders, and that did put Alibaba under significant financial strength to, to stay afloat while making the platforms commission free police. Ma and his team began offering value added support service, e.g. custom web page to online merchants, merchants for small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in the last than five years. Anyway, subsequently withdrew for China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, is now one of world's large company as measured by its market capitalization approximately uh, two, 200 billion dollars. Good, perfect. Now, Sandra Romero. Okay, teacher. And in 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma grouped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to fund Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stage of the Alibaba, Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley, the tech hub in the United States, United States and was met with Daniels. And his business model was criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many at the time. In 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Man and his team launched an online action site named taboo.com, charging zero commission and took on a multi multinational e-commerce giant eBay. Determined to win, Tabao remained a commission-free marketplace for millions of offline traders, and that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while maintaining, maintaining the platform's commission. Free policy, Ma, Ma and his team began offering value added support services. Example, custom web page to online merchants for a small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States, is now one of the world's largest companies, a measure by this market capitalization, approximately USD 2,200 million. 
Okay, very good, perfect. It seems that we are not going to have time for everybody to read, but let's check some pronunciation, okay? Um, let's be careful, everybody, about, let's see, dream, family, I would go to facility international trade for small and video, and plurals. Sometimes, for example, in words like this, uh, sometimes some of you say enterprise, but that is a plural, it's enterprises, okay? It's very important, that part. The same with this one. Stage is not is not correct. Stages, because it's a plural. Stages. Also, we need to be careful about the simple past tense with ed based, tried. Okay. Uh, this one also. Some of you say tech, but it's not tech. It's tech, as in technology. It's very important that one. Tech technology. Okay. Uh, denials. This one is denials, very important as well. Criticized, criticized, okay? Unprofitable, uh, unsustainable. Let's see what else. This one is not correct. I mean, it's not launch, it's lounge. It's missing an A, it's L-A-U-N. So I don't know, it's, it's an error, it's not correct, okay? It's lounge with A. Uh, let's see what else. Remember the Z in English, zero. Zero. Yeah. Zero, uh, it's not zero, zero. Okay, let's see, giant. Remember this is giant. Uh, let's see, remained, ED at the end is very important. Traders, also very important. Uh, let me see, policy. Remember this is policy, it's not police, it's policy, right? Uh, what else? For service online, merchant small fees. Uh, let's see. Subsequently, withdrew um, commerce. Remember that this is commerce. The last E, we do not pronounce that one. Uh, largest. Largest. Measured. Measured. Okay. Capitalization. And the rest is good. Not tomorrow, but on Wednesday, we're going to check vocabulary and we're going to uh, do an exercise that is below. Before we finish, I, I brought a little video for you. So this is about Mother's Day. As usual, we're going to see the video and then we're going to, to comment, right? Let's see. My mom would be at all my sporting events. Let's say I was playing football, okay? My mother would be on the sidelines, and if the play on the field started going one way, my mother would run along like, Mark, get him, get him! I'd be like, oh my gosh. I'd get in the huddle with the other guys, they go, Mark, is that your mother? I go, no, I never saw her before in my life. <laughs> the greatest gift my mother ever gave me, she believed in me. I have overdosed on drugs on three occasions where I should have been dead. But I believe I was kept here for a reason. You show me your friends, I will show you your future. How do I know this? I hung out with losers and I became the biggest loser of them all because I gave up everything I dreamt about as a little boy because of who I chose to surround myself with. My friends would drive me home at two, three, four in the morning. We'd be drunk and high, laughing in the car. We pull up in front of my house in New York. They go, Mark, Mark, the light's on. I go, oh man, my mother's up. See, my mom wouldn't go to bed until she knew her son was still alive. I'd walk in, she'd say, hi, Mark, how was your night? I go, it's good, mom, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, can I, can I talk to you for a minute? I go, mom, I'm tired, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, Mark, I haven't seen you all day and all night. Can I please talk to you? I said, man, just leave me alone. You bug me. I'd slam my bedroom door on the one person who believed in me. I was on a worldwide tour and we were wrestling overseas in Japan. After my wrestling match, I went upstairs in my hotel room and I fell asleep. There was a knock at my door at three o'clock in the morning. I got out of bed and I looked through the safety window and I could see it was a Japanese promoter. So I opened the door and he said, Mark, you need to call home. There's been an emergency. I went and got on the hotel room phone. I called back to the United States and said, hey, what's going on? They said, Mark, I don't know how to tell you this. I said, just tell me what happened. All of a sudden, I started crying. They go, Mark, I can't tell you. I said, just say it. They said, Mark, 
your mother died. I just threw the phone down. I ran out of my hotel room. I took the elevator to the lobby and when the doors opened up, I just ran out into the street. I mean, there was no cars, there was no people. It's three o'clock in the morning. And I walked down the middle of a street in Hiroshima, Japan. And I remember looking up and just saying, Mom, I am so sorry. I flew home for her funeral and I was so nervous to walk up to her casket. So I just stood way in the back. And I kept looking from a distance. I kept thinking to myself, Mom, please wake up. Please get up. And then I finally got the nerve to walk up to her. And as I got closer, I could see my mom for the first time. I mean, she was so beautiful. She, she was dressed in white. I mean, she looked like an angel. And I just stood over and I said, Mom, you are my hero. Everything I am, everything I hope to be was because of you. You loved me so much. You gave me a life. You're the only one that ever believed in me. How did I repay her? By getting drunk, by getting high, by getting stupid, by hanging out with losers for what? All she ever wanted to do was talk to me. I wish I could talk to you now, Mom. I wish you could see what I'm doing. Why couldn't I have been a better son? We are defined by our choices. But if you surround yourself with people involved in drugs and alcohol and pills, it's a dead end. I'm not here to preach to you. I'm here to tell you I lived that life. It leads to broken hearts, broken relationships, broken dreams, and death. For what? To get high? If you have a mother or a father, when you go home, tell them how much you love them. See, my whole life was about being rich and famous. I had to be a millionaire. I had to win the race. I had to win the race to expense my marriage, my family, my friends for what? To be all alone in the world? I learned what is truly important, and that is how precious this gift of life is and our families and how quickly it can be taken away. See, I no longer live in time. I live in moments. See, it's not what's in your pocket that matters. It's what's in your heart that truly matters. Love, love is just a word until somebody comes along and gives it meaning. You, you're the meaning. Thanks, teacher. What did you understand on the video? Did you get some ideas? We don't have time anymore, but anyways. You make us cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's worse. Hard. <laughs> unrefutable. Unrefutable, can I say? Yeah, that is yeah. true. <laughs> that's all the truth about the moms. The moms, <laughs> yeah, that that's so true. We have to, we have to love, love her, love. We have to love our mothers, like the way that our kids love us. <laughs> very good, perfect night. I guess it was a very nice message. So that's what, because tomorrow is a special day. So to all the girls and women here. Happy Mother's Day. I hope tomorrow you have a very nice day. Rest, sleep, don't cook. Forget and... English. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Celebrate in English. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> so tomorrow, no class. Remember that we are not going to have class tomorrow. You're going to rest. So enjoy your day and uh, see you on Wednesday. See you, Let's... teacher. Let's Thank check you. the attendance and then we finish. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. 
Present teacher. Carmen Yusmin López Martínez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Yes. Good. Uh, Gloria, for you is the 101 today. Okay. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night, present. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good night. Good night. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present Nelson. teacher. Okay, good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. See you not tomorrow, but on Wednesday. Enjoy your day off and uh, dream in English. See you around. Happy Mother's Day. See you on Wednesday. Happy okay. Mother's Day, ladies. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. See you Wednesday. Bye. Thank you. See you. Bye. See you around. Hello, Gloria. How are you? I find um, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, for talking for you. But we're friends. Don't be nervous. It's, but... it's just a little speaking. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel you're doing in the English class? Do you believe that you're learning, that you're moving on? Oh, yes. Um, but... Um... I understand a little more what the what is being spoken, but um, it's more difficult um, for me to talk. Talk. Of yeah, I know that is the most difficult always. Uh -huh, okay, but uh, now understand very good uh, the grammatic and. Hay difícil. ¿Cómo se llama? Amarrar las oraciones. Organizarlas. Saber sí. qué va en qué parte. Ok. Sí, mire, eso a veces sí tiene como que uh, cuesta un poco. Lo que yo le recomiendo es lo siguiente. Usted entiende acá y si alguna cosa no la entiende, la puede buscar. ¿verdad? En línea hay muchos recursos. Eso es una ventaja. Es a big advantage right now that if you still don't understand something you can research and then you say ah oh, this is like this and practice so there are two steps understand and then practice so okay. in class talk usted habla en clase y aunque se equivoque la corregimos usted de leer eso me gusta de que usted bueno pero no a todo verdad que está corrigiendo en el momento a la hora de, de, de que pronunciamos, usted nos corrige y eso es buenísimo porque uno aprende más que al final lo quieran, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Corregir, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, Así es que, uh -huh. Entonces, decirle que muchas gracias. Uh, I, I learn okay. more. I learn more with you. 
Nice, I'm very happy. Remember that if you have questions, you can chat with me in the group on, in WhatsApp. You can chat with me directly in the class. You can ask the questions and practice. That is the most important practice, okay? I'm more appreciated. Your, Very good. Your, um, ¿cómo se dice? Su, ¿cómo decirle? Es su voluntad de enseñarnos. ¿Cómo se puede decir? Uh, you're willing. You're willing to teach. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a pleasure. I'm very happy here. I, I understand more your your spoken. O sea, I, I understand you. That's very good. So I'm very happy. Let's continue with the class. Tomorrow, no class, but see you on Wednesday. Okay. Have a good night. Bueno, good night. Uh, Thank bye you. bye. It's a pleasure. Bye bye now.